now what i want to tell you is the so the way the project we are doing the way the project means the process how we are doing is adding the script tag like this and all those things is the old process generally so the new uh, the when we are trying to do a real time project and all those things so this is not the recommended step setup so we have a different types of setup which we will be doing in our uh, javascript framework any javascript framework will be having a different kind of setup let's try to see how we can set up these things so when you are trying to create an application here we will try to see quick start somewhere yeah creating a view application familiarity with the command line and node.js need to be installed so these are the two things you need to have so here this is the command we need to type so when we want to install a new view.js project so that is the different thing which we have learned using the standalone thing and this is a recommended process recommended process how we can set up the view.js project now in order to have this command to work we need to have a node.js installed in your system so that is also version 16.0 or higher it seems they are saying so you can click on this node.js version and right now it is running is the 18.12.1 so they are asking 16.0 greater than 16.0 one second yeah one second sorry watching that that one before on uh, power cut that one okay so are you able to hear my voice right hello yes sir yeah so you understood so node.js need to be installed in our system so why node.js and all those things while going on you can understand it later uh, before now we'll try to answer. so now the node.js after installing the node.js if you want to see that node.js installed in our system or not if you want to see it is so here you can go and you can type node hyphen b let's write it yeah 16.17.0 17.0 is the version which i have <coughs> in my system so you can also install the 18.12.1 lts setup also not a problem now we have the node.js installed in our system let's go into this one and here copy this thing npm init view at the rate latest okay i'm copying this line and i am trying to paste it here okay npm init view at the rate latest so let's try to press enter it will ask you some series of questions let it ask it will ask you it is taking some time let it take yeah so view view js so project name it is asking so if you want to keep a project name is we can keep it so something like view hyphen crud operation like this we can also use it okay this is the project name which i am trying to give so if you want to add a typescript support or not so right now we are not adding anything so do you want the jsx support or not we don't want so you do you want view router or not no so do you want to pin up for the state management or not no so unit testing do you want it no e to e testing also do you want it no so these are all things you will see afterwards es link for the code quality no so now it has been created so you can these are all the things you will see one by one by setting up manually so now here we got the view hyphen crud so this is the project so let's move on to the cd view view hyphen crud now try to run npm install so these are the series of comments what they have given so we need to install all the packages that are essential for the vue.js so it will install all the packages let it install it may take some time depending on the packages so this is the latest one which the vue.js has recommended previously we this is the latest one so this has the whitest uh, whitest thing so now previously we used to have view cli separate cli we used to have just like the angular cli and all those things we used to have a view cli using this process also we can develop it so now right now they are telling that this is a view cli mode so we are for new projects if you want to create please use the create hyphen view the which we are using it right white based projects these are all so if you want you can also use this concept also first you need to run npm install hyphen g at the rate view slash cli 
and if you go into get started so we can do all the setup and all those things right now this is not in the recommended mode if you want you can use it but it is in the maintenance mode only so right now they have switched to a new way of creating a Vue.js project that is nothing but this one create a npm init like this we have seen it right so this process this is the process they have they are recommending difference on the from the view CLM means it is based on the webpack while create view is based on the white so this is the white thing angular react and previously view also based on the webpack so now the author of the view.js has developed a new one so here this one is a white so using the white they we uh, view.js is the supported one so this is the next generation front end tooling so this is all the process we can learn it afterwards is it installed some things it's still taking let's try to press enter sometimes we need to press enter then only the system will respond okay it is taking it is let it install and uh and now what i want to tell you is uh, yeah here so we have uh, did it right let's see let's see it let's see it is it installing or not yeah it is installing about to complete it yeah it has installed everything is completed so i am opening this one in the visual studio code let us open yes trust the other yeah so now we are able to see this one i think maybe the i will try to increase the zoom zoom size also one second already it is there 2.5 i will increase somewhat so that you can see it clearly fine now this is the total project structure we are having so previously we used to have the webpack.config.js but these people are using vue.js white.config.js okay <clears throat> so those are different things so these are all the dependencies so here they have installed the white.js vue.js version 3.2.41 and the white and here we will be having all the modules which are available uh, which are necessary for the package thing node modules and this is the public folder so you can place the public uh, images and all those things you can place it apart from that you also have in the source also assets thing here also you can paste the css files so if you want any css global files you can place it here they already had some base css main data css so which are available so now let's try to run this project so how it will run so for running this project they have told that npm run dev so let's try run this one npm run dev so i am running this project let's see it so it is running so it will give you some localhost url so automatically the web pack, the server also it will run so it is, this will give you a localhost url and oh sorry i have stopped it entirely so now i can copy this one and i can paste it here somewhere yeah i can paste it here yeah this is the page right so now we will be able to see the output okay so this is the output so this is the output you have successfully created a project with white plus view 3 and official documentation and all those things they are trying to give some details about this one so if you want you can also remove this all the code so from where this all the code is coming is so from where this all the code is coming is so from here okay so from here so now the entry part for this one is here main.js if you observe here so here we have seen create app of app and dot mount normally we used to have constant app is equal to like this and we used to do app dot mount of like this right so this is the process which we will be doing so they have curated it the shortcut not a problem and now here we used to have like this array data and all those things we used to give it so they have added this one in a separate file and they are importing that file that is nothing but an app dot view so dot view is a special type of template which is supported in the view js dot view i will try to tell you these all the things so these are all the components which are available for booting up the project so we can remove these all the things in the components i am deleting these all the things so let us delete so that we will start from the scratch so these are all the things i am deleting not a problem this is the app dot view okay so let's keep it like this this is the main entry file and now if you try to see the output and if you if you see the output 
so here we are having some errors right so why because we have all deleted everything so now let's go into the app dot view and here i am removing these all the things also so just create a view and here i am giving hello world so i want to have this hello world so let's delete these all styles and all those things also i don't want these all the things i will show you these all things also so we have added and i want to remove the script also so entire thing i have removed it removed it template i am using and what is the other thing so we are not using anything so let's see the output we are able to see the hello world at the center so why it is coming in the center is because of the css which they have added it so let's try to remove this all main.css so yeah so i have removed this main.base.css with the normal basing base css so here we are able to see the hello world okay so this is the basic setup what we have did up to now so just this is the main.js and this is the app folder i have deleted everything i have deleted everything every components i have deleted it in the app.view i didn't do anything i have added a template and in this template we are having hello world so from now onwards we'll try to do the setup process and all those things from now onwards so they have given our one scaffolding wireframe thing so which we can start up now we will try to do one by one from the basics thing so this is all about the creation of the project so here git ignore index index.html this is the main entry point of the index.html here they have added this main.js file and div id is equal to app here it is there and we have another one is the package.json so these are all the things available so this is the project setup which we will be doing in our uh vue.js app through the white project so through the white thing so this is the recommended process which we need to do which we need to create a project in the vue.js previously we used to have a view cli which is right now it's not recommended if you want you can also do it but they are recommending that to use the white based project systems in the view 3 previously we used to use view cli only so this is the basic project setup in the vue.js